All right, welcome back to another episode of Lunch with Doug. I'm your host, Dangerous Doug Harper, and today we are going to be talking about uh, underrated local spots in Nevada, Missouri. So we're going to be doing that right after this on Lunch with Doug. Welcome to a brand new episode of Lunch with Doug, a unique and fun experience brought to you by the creative minds at the Music Exerbia Project. Today's episode is made possible thanks to the generous support of our esteemed sponsors. Harry Frog Graphics, your go-to destination for all things graphic, located at 150 North Commercial, Nevada, Missouri. Reach out to them at 417-381-1077. Karen McNair, your friendly neighborhood nutritionist. Dial 269-267-4644 to learn about the monthly information class or to schedule a personal consultation. Boutique Marketplace, featuring more than 17 vendors, including the second edition shop inside. Located at 500 East Cherry, Nevada, Missouri, at the historic Village Mall property where the new Elite Fitness Gym is currently located. John's Barbershop, located at 121 West Cherry, Nevada, Missouri. Open Tuesday through Friday, they welcome walk-ins, no appointment needed. American Legion Post Number 2, located at 402 East Cherry, Nevada, Missouri. Newly remodeled with a clean, fresh look, gaming machines, and new smoke eaters. Nevada Tobacco and Community Store, your local store next door at 125 West Cherry, Nevada, Missouri. Open seven days a week, featuring a variety of snacks, Missouri lottery tickets, bottled drinks, and everyday products for everyone. Express Printing, offering print-based products, including banners, decals, signs, and vinyl decals upon request. Printed and cling-based removable decals for various applications. Conveniently located at 14144 East Highway 54, right next to Mr. D's. Contact them at 417-283-2056. Thank you for choosing to spend your lunch time with us. All right, folks. Underrated local spots in Nevada, Missouri. We're going to go from 5 to 1, according to the Internet, what the, what the Internet thought was the most uh, top five underrated spots in Nevada, Missouri. Okay, so these uh, spots offer a mix of history, relaxation, and outdoor activities. And, uh, you know, shout out. Have you visited these places before? There, you get ready. We're going to find out. If uh, Let us know if you have or haven't, and let us know your feedback, whether you think they are not as well known about and should be. Uh, should be celebrated more, or if they're just, yeah, everybody knows about it, and it's, yeah. Give us your opinions. You can message us. You can call us. Lots of things you can do here at Lunch with Doug. Number five, Walton Park Skate Park. For the skate park enthusiasts, this park provides a great space to practice and enjoy some outdoor fun. Number five, underrated local spot in Nevada, Missouri. Number four, the Nevada Speedway. If you're into racing, the Speedway offers thrilling off-road races and a lively atmosphere. I guess they're not really off-road racing. They're dirt track. I guess that is off-road. I don't know. That's just what the internet says, folks. I'm not 100%. I think you would call it a dirt track, but yeah. Number four. I thought everybody knew about the Nevada Speedway, but, you know, it may be underutilized. It could be. Could be. Maybe we need to celebrate it a little bit more. Number three, the Marmaduke Park. This park features a playground, picnic areas, and a disc golf course. It's the perfect uh, place for family outing and a peaceful walk. And that's a really cool park. And I I have always thought that Marmaduke Park was kind of underutilized. Although lately with the new new disc golf course, things are picking up. And now they're doing that fall festival out there. So, you know... It's getting more and more used. They, then a few years ago, they'd also built that uh, air-conditioned and heated, um, basically, uh, what do you call it? It's not a pavilion. I guess you would call it a, uh, anyway, it's a room. It's a building. But that's really cool to have that if you're having a wedding reception or something out there. And I don't think it's very much to use that facility with the city. So it's a, it's a cool place, and it has really uh, been building momentum. But but again, according to the Internet, it's still underutilized and underknown. Unknown. Not as many people know it. And I have noticed that when I say something about Marmaduke Park, a lot of people are like, what park are you talking about? And sometimes they do know where it is once I explain, but they don't know what it's called. So need need a little more marketing going on on that one, I think. Um, and the Internet thinks so as well. Number two. 
Delaney Vineyard and Winery. Oh, my goodness. Located on South Main Street, this fine, uh, vineyard <laughs> offers wine tastings, beautiful outdoor seating, a great space to relax and enjoy some local wine. And that is, that's correct. I, I definitely love the vibe at the Delaney Vineyard and Winery. And you know, I have my own personal ties with that if you've been listening to the show for a while. But yeah, definitely an underutilized space and very, um, very good wine. So Delaney Vineyard and Winery, yes. The Bushwhacker Museum is number one. Now, that's kind of catch-22 because um, the Bushwhacker Museum is also very known and, and it's a tourist attraction and whatnot, but as well as Delaney and as well as Nevada Speedway and Marmaduke Park. And I don't know if I'd list Walton Park Skate Park as a tourist attraction. I mean, it is, but it doesn't come up in a tourist attraction search engines. The other four all do. So this, according to the Internet, is not only saying that the four... Ones that come up as tourist attractions are also the um, underrated, underutilized spaces in the area as well. So, Catch-22, we got a lot of work to do. we got a great place here in, uh, in the good old Nevada, Missouri, but got a lot of work to do still yet. Bushwhacker Museum, anyway, back to that. Uh, the museum offers a deep dive into the history, especially of the Civil War, Native Americans, and uh, local military history. It's a fascinating place to learn and explore, and I think so too and I think there's a lot of people that have not ventured in there and realize what kind of exhibits and things that they have in the museum down in the basement of the um, the library so there's there's several spots I think in Nevada I'm going to elaborate on a couple other spots I think that because of this um, that people when they free come in for the first time they've just never been there they know the kind of exists but then once you get in there you're like hey uh, this is a really cool space one of the things and they've changed the name on it but one of the spaces that's really, really cool is the space that's owned by First Christian Church, or not First Christian, First Baptist Church. They used to call it the Green Room Space, and it's out there by Dollar General off of, uh, it'd be off of uh, Osage, kind of on the outer road there. I don't know what that road is. I think it actually is called Osage. The outer road becomes, Osage stays at the outer road, and then the highway goes right next to it. So if you're driving up Osage, you got to, turn and kind of do a little little I don't know a little hiccup otherwise you'll go right on out of town into the highway but then Osage goes over there in North Osage Boulevard anyway you pass like Max Motors and then you pass the little RV park and then there's this building there and they have a name for it now I don't know what it's called but I believe it's uh it's it's like the youth group for the uh for the First Baptist Church but that building that's a really cool facility that uh that as far as uh, other, the church probably utilizes it a lot, but as far as like community events and stuff, they do things occasionally. But that building could really be, really be a spot. As well as, let's talk about the Missouri Recital Hall at Cotty College. Um, everybody knows there's an auditorium at Cotty College, but a lot of people, unless you, of course, like me, I work there, or if you're frequent there, you know that there's also a 150 seat, or it's less, just under 150 seat recital hall also in that same building there's also an art gallery so you go into that building and there's an auditorium an art gallery and then a recital hall but the recital hall really nice facility to um to do meetings and things that and the college is now offering that where people couldn't rent that out for or you could do a wedding you could do a, a church service you could do a, a business presentation meeting lots of different things in fact if you were following the show of course this summer we did a i did a co- concert there it was a concert, and, of course, the college also has their own events there. They do things for the SAC. The Student Activities Committee does events, and they're like comedians and magicians for the students. But then there's also events that are open to the public, such as recently we had a uh, touring brass company come in there, Serif Brass, uh, which you, I'm sure you heard about that on the show, too. But anyway, there's a lot of neat stuff going on there, and uh, that is uh, definitely a space that is mostly open in the summertime because there's not much going on in the college in that building in the summertime. So it'd be a great time to catch a, catch a space in the summer, um, except my date, because I want to have a concert this summer. So anyway, I'm just messing with you. But it's a, it's a great facility. Uh, and I think as a community as a whole, it's uh, not, when you say Missouri Recital Hall, a lot of people don't know where that's at or what it is exactly. So there's that, you know. So there's that one on my list. Uh, another underutilized space, this is kind of unique um, because... It's a parking. It's free parking is what it is, but it, it's the wall. They call it the wall, and it's this little architectural thing right across the street, kind of 
catty corner from McDonald's right there on the be the 200 block or 300 block actually it's I think it's the 200 block of of West Austin yeah it is exactly that 200 block of West Austin there you can pull right off there it's kind of behind Reinhardt jewelry and then it's also most people call it the back parking lot to Iguana Azul however again it's just a public parking spot but that little architecture is called the wall and then there's uh plenty of parking there and uh even during the daytime, it doesn't get too full. So it's a great adjacent to the square when the square's got a lot of traffic. You can park right over there and just, just walk around the corner and uh, and get downtown. So it's a, it's a great access for downtown. But they used to do farmer's market there on Saturdays. And so there's a little bit of a sidewalk area there. And just I, I think there's a, a lot of potential there for, for some cool stuff. So uh, I think that one's a little underutilized. And uh, it's right there downtown so that's all I'll go into today um, I'll get out of your hair because I know I've been blabbing for a while now so we'll call it a day we'll call it an episode here at lunch with Doug and uh, I'll see you again soon thank you for spending your lunch time with me today's episode is made possible thanks to the generous support of our esteemed sponsors Harry Frog Graphics your go-to destination for all things graphic located at 150 North Commercial Nevada Missouri Reach out to them at 417-381-1077. Karen McNair, your friendly neighborhood nutritionist. Dial 269-267-4644 to learn about the monthly information class or to schedule a personal consultation. Boutique Marketplace, featuring more than 17 vendors, including the second edition shop inside. Located at 500 East Cherry, Nevada, Missouri, at the historic Village Mall property where the new Elite Fitness Gym is currently located. John's Barbershop, located at 121 West Cherry, Nevada, Missouri. Open Tuesday through Friday, they welcome walk-ins, no appointment needed. American Legion Post Number 2, located at 402 East Cherry, Nevada, Missouri. Newly remodeled with a clean, fresh look, gaming machines, and new smoke eaters. Nevada Tobacco and Community Store, your local store next door at 125 West Cherry, Nevada, Missouri. Open seven days a week, featuring a variety of snacks, Missouri lottery tickets, bottled drinks, and everyday products for everyone. Express Printing, offering print-based products, including banners, decals, signs, and vinyl decals upon request. Printed and cling-based removable decals for various applications. Conveniently located at 14144 East Highway 54, right next to Mr. D's. Contact them at 417-283-2056.